been a working so hard all my journey down here. I work for my Lord in the valley of fear. I finished my course. I stood for the ride. I'm ready to go. I fought a good fight. I finished my What a good fight. That was music by New Ground, and welcome to Gospel Time. I'm the host, Dave Rigg, and during this half hour, it's going to be my privilege to bring to you the gospel of Jesus Christ in song. Now here's one from the Oxendines. It's called Take Me to the River. You're listening to Gospel Time. Someone with hey. 
In the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 9, God's Word says, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. Would you pause just a moment with me for a word of prayer? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you today for the opportunities that we have in education. It's true we do not all achieve or even want to achieve the same level of education, but we do thank you for the availability. Lord, help us to utilize the brain that you have given to us, and Lord, that we would never let its abilities diminish through lack of exercise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. When Joseph was a little boy, he was driven by his dreams. God spoke to him, told him he had chosen him. When others didn't understand, Joseph still believed and trusted him. Trusted and was willing to dream on. dream on When the world just didn't believe God had promised never to leave him alone Dream on, dream on. Follow hope wherever it leads For in the sea of dreams to Genesis with Dr. John Morris, president of the Institute for Creation Research. Dr. Morris, did birds evolve from dinosaurs? Chris, this is a favorite evolutionary claim, but I don't think so. Birds are birds and dinosaurs are dinosaurs and they're very, very different. For instance, both have a backbone, both have legs and arms, but you really can't use similarities like this to imply common ancestry. Birds have a very complex way of breathing, very different from reptiles. Reptiles breathe more like mammals, while birds breathe in one pipe and out through another so there's a continual flow of air. 
How could one type of lung system evolve into the other? I think the evidence indicates that birds were created as birds and land creatures like dinosaurs were created as dinosaurs. That's what the Bible tells us back in Genesis. To find out more about creation science, visit us on the web at www.icr.org. That's www.icr.org. And the music continues now as we listen to the Bradys and their song entitled, I Might Go Home Today. afraid of those who threaten you. For the time is coming when everything will be revealed. All that is secret will be made public. What I tell you now in the darkness, shout abroad when daybreak comes. What I whisper in your ears, shout from the housetops for all to hear. Don't be afraid of those who want to kill you. They can only kill your body. They cannot touch your soul. Fear only God, who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Not even a sparrow, worth only half a penny, can fall to the ground without your father knowing it. And the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to him than a whole flock of sparrows. If anyone acknowledges me publicly here on earth, I will openly acknowledge that person before my father in heaven. Matthew chapter 10, verses 26 through 32. From the Holy Bible, New Living Translation. Live it now. This is Gospel Time, a radio ministry. We depend upon your prayers and financial support to keep us on the air in your area and on your favorite radio station. If you'd like to help us, write to us at Gospel Time, Box 68, Bone Gap, Illinois, 62815. Write us today. Now on Gospel Time, it's hymn time.
peace like a river attendeth my way when sorrows like sea billows roll whatever my Lord thou hast told Just got to talk to him. Oh, I'm gonna try and get backstage and see him. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Chrysler, but I just had to meet you. I'd give everything to be able to play like you. Madam, that's exactly what I did. You want to be the best, but are you really willing to sacrifice it all to get to the top? The greatest cause you can get involved in is the cause of Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 6 explains, The honor and accolades last forever when you strive for the cause of Jesus. Galatians chapter 6 says, Give it all to the greatest cause. A thought from today's Our Daily Bread devotional guide. Mm -hmm, Okay. Now we listen to one from the Freemans. It's called Cast in the Sea. Of hell cannot buy. 
trace I'll never tremble I'll never worry That I must encounter What wants fall with me For I have assurance That I've been forgiven Both sins gone forever What's cast in the sea? What's cast in the sea of God's mercy? A river of cleansing from Calvary. Destiny, liberty, parity for eternity. Sins gone. Mr. Smith, the nurse said you're having trouble sleeping. Yeah, that's right, doctor. Well, let's see what the problem... Whoa! You have an arrow sticking out of your side. Yeah, if you could just give me something for the pain... No! We have to remove that arrow. You can't take my arrow away. It's a great conversation piece at parties. I get all kinds of sympathy with it, and it helped me get a job. It did? Yeah, they asked if I can handle adversity. I said, hey, I got an arrow sticking in my side. But you could die. All I need is something for the pain and to help me sleep at night. I could give you some pain pills and you can try sleeping on your other side, but the pain will only get worse. You need surgery. I'm not letting go of this arrow. It's too important to me. I'll try sleeping on my other side. Are you holding on to something that's harming you? Are you reluctant to follow God's will because of something you don't want to let go of? God's blessings are always better than anything we have or would want to hold on to. Will you trust Him? Another message from Lifeline Production. One day when I was walking through a dreary sinful land, I met a gentle stranger who took me by the hand. And then I heard him whisper, I heard him call my name. And I knew with all my heart and soul I'd never more be the same. Well, I won't turn back no more till I, till I reach heaven shore, my Lord. My Lord is walking with me, and I know, I know He's talking with me. He said, he said He'd hold my hand till I, till I reach the promised land, and I won't give up. I won't turn back, but I'll keep holding on. Well, I won't turn back no more till I reach heaven shore, my Lord is walking with me, and I know He's talking with me. He said. He'd hold my hand till I reach a promised land. I won't give up, I won't turn back, but I'll keep holding on. Well, I won't, I won't turn back no more till I, till I reach heaven shore, my Lord. He's walking with me, and I know he's walking with me. He says he'd hold my hand till I reach a promised land. And I won't give up, I won't turn back, but I'll keep holding on. Well, I won't give up, I won't turn back, but I'll keep holding. 
turn back. That was from the New Spear Revival. Well, that's all the time they're going to give us for today's Gospel Time program. A reminder that Gospel Time stays on the air in your area and on your favorite radio station because of your prayers and your financial support. If you'd like to help us, here is our mailing address. It's Gospel Time, Post Office Box 68, Bone Gap, Illinois, and our zip code is 62815. Thanks for listening to our program today. Until our next radio broadcast, if the Lord's willing, this is Dave Rigg asking the Lord to richly bless you.